Hello, everyone. Today, me, Pranas, and my colleague, Martinez, who is the product owner of the Switch portfolio in Teltonica Networks, will, oh, we will be introducing three new devices, and all of them are switches. At some point, these devices are similar, at some point, totally different. So if you will have any questions during the webinar, please ask them in Q&A window, and we will discuss all your questions after the webinar. And now, so let's dive deeper in our devices. So routers operate on the network layer, handling communication between different networks. However, switches operate on the data link layer, focusing on communication between devices within a single network, create efficient data flow by eliminating collisions where multiple devices try to transmit at once and creating dedicated connections for each device. In other words, switches create networks. And so today we will do dive deeper in the newest additions to the Teltonica Networks portfolio of switches. And the first one and completely new in design is TSF-010. TSF-010 has unique design with front-facing Ethernet ports and being compact due to flat form. And its size is just a bit bigger than the credit card. All these design features ease the deployment in industrial cabinets or other limited spaces. This device follows design of our other Ethernet switches and has integrated DIN rail bracket for easy mounting. And this Ethernet switch features five of 100 megabit Ethernet ports, which are sufficient in industrial applications. TSF-010 follows route 100 40 or 142 in terms of powering and features thin pin power connector. One more feature that makes the device suitable for a wider field of applications, its powering voltage range is from 7 to 57 volts. And Martinez, could you introduce us a bit deeper about where this device could be applicable? Okay, <clears throat> so uh, once again, hello everybody, it's actually thrilling to me to be here, you know, and, and participating in this webinar. This is kind of the first one uh, for me uh, I'm participating in as a product owner for Ethernet switches and Teltonica Networks portfolio. So uh, thank you, Pranas, for the short introduction about the specs of the device. I will share my screen and I will jump uh, to the, let's say, topology and the use case. Uh, of the device, so Pranas, uh, do you see the screen? So let me yeah, yeah, everything's perfect. Everybody does. So, uh, right. So, TSF zero one zero, as simple as it is, but still is, as Pranas mentioned, is a unique in Teltonica Networks industrial switches portfolio, uh, for its size, for its weight. Uh, it weighs only one hundred forty-two grams, and the most importantly for the form factor. Uh, as you can, uh, if you see the name of the switch, the F stands for flat. So the idea of having such switch was to reflect the need of the installers and manufacturers, which uh, has quite limited, or in other words, a narrow space uh, to assemble all needed devices in the solution. Uh, this use case came up actually from my uh, own experience, from uh, from my previous, uh, let's say, work uh, from my previous company that I worked in, uh, we had an order to design and manufacture uh, quite sleek design self-service terminal for the hospitals. So, uh, of course, as I mentioned, the design should be modern, sleek. So, um, and, you know, all the equipment, all the networking equipment and other equipment with the wires had to fit in it at the same time. So, I do remember the struggle and the challenge that we faced integrating all devices and wires. So TSF-010 in such use case is an important device so for several reasons. So um, because what, first of all, you need to create the internal network inside the machine to connect all the devices, all the equipment uh, to one network. So uh, that's the most important role that TSF-010 plays. 
So for several reasons, as I mentioned, so if you want to troubleshoot it, if you want to reach the end devices remotely, so you should have the switch inside to interconnect everything into one network. Uh, and the TSF-010 just fits perfectly into this narrow space. Uh, other than that, we can find a need for such form factor devices uh, in uh, other cases, use cases where the space uh, has a limitation. For example, retail establishments, uh, hotels, restaurants, uh, cafeterias uh, are frequently actually uh, requiring networking equipment uh, in confined spaces like service closets or behind the reception desks. Uh, other than that, it can be a clinics or doctor cabinets. It can be industrial environment where, uh, with limited space for networking equipment, uh, digital signage, and uh, well, basically any self-service terminal ticketing kiosk with uh, with the slim design. So, uh, Pranas, coming back to you. Thank you, Martinez. Now, I believe it will be more clear uh, where this uh, platform switch can be used and why we introduced a device like this. And as I told in the very beginning, uh, we have not only one, but three new devices. And two more are the switches TSW030 and TSW040 as in the switches. So uh, what is in common uh, between these two devices? They both have eight uh, Ethernet ports, 100 megabits Ethernet ports. Uh, both devices have integrated DIN rail brackets and two pin power inputs. And also both uh, devices has power range from seven to 57 volts. But if we are talking about differences, TSW030 could be the perfect fit for topologies which requires low power consumption. This Ethernet switch would consume less than 0.5 watt in idle and not more than 1.5 watt in max performance mode. And the main difference between TSW030 and 040 is PoE functionality on the later one. So TSW040 supports AF and AT standards. It has 240 watts power budget or 30 watts per port. And it's very important to mention that to have PoE functionality, this device has to be powered from 44 to 57 volts. Martinez. Okay, thank you, Pranas. Uh, sharing the screen. Um, let's let's uh, take a look at the at the principal topology of the and the use case. So, uh, plain and simple topology. Uh, again, in the manufacturing plants and managed industrial switches can be used to connect uh, various machines like CNC machinery, uh, sensors, and control devices on the factory floor. Uh, so TSV030, for example, uh, facilitates real-time data exchange between the PLC, HMIs, and other industrial equipment, uh, ensuring smooth and efficient operation of production process. So in order to automate or predict anything, in a manufacturing facility, all machines involved must be connected to a single network, and this is where the TSV030 steps in. So, of course, you can achieve this uh, in a more complex uh, way, but uh, TSV030 is just perfect for that. So, uh, again, TSV030 unmanaged switch, uh, an 8-port Ethernet switch equipped with the uh, 8 uh, 100 megabit per second RG45 ports, uh, this speed uh, are quite enough, enabling sufficient uh, throughput for equipment common in industrial manufacturing. Uh, on the top of equipment connected to this 8-port switch, unmanaged switch, uh, TSV030 is also connected to the Teltonica's uh, router, Ethernet router, non-cellular non one, so RUT301 Ethernet router, which itself is connected to the server that acts as the destination of all data in the facility. So this unmanaged switch is compact, 
plug and play device designed to go for simple and quick deployment. It's actually very compact. Uh, it features two pin power input suitable for industrial applications uh, and the dual reel bracket uh, on the back for the easy mounting. And as Pranas mentioned, it's you know very important that it's we can call it low con uh, low consumption switch. Uh, so uh, in with the idle, it's 0 0.5 watts of con consumption with the maximum up to 1.5 watts only. So moving forward and. I can just tell, say three words here, like light switches action. Uh, so uh, I believe PoE technology and its capabilities is quite trending uh, in, in our days uh, because we are saving the power and uh, we are uh, going, moving ourselves to a sustainability. Uh, in the principal topology that we have here, uh, we have full Ethernet ecosystem. Each of the TSV 040's uh, uh, RG45 ports has a power budget of 30 watts. So it means that each port has 30 watts power budget. So in total, we have 240 watts power budget. So the guy is quite small, quite compact, but I believe well, it's quite powerful thing. So, and this power budget is more than enough to have lighting installation deployed. And not just that, various other things like humidity or pressure sensors, uh, as well as wall controller can be also powered with TSV040. So smart lightning systems allows for automation and remote capabilities, but uh, at the cost of required additional cabling for connectivity. So with this device, uh, with the PoE technology, with TSV040, this cost can be eliminated by deploying this perfect uh, match switch. Uh, of course, there are certain other benefits uh, from this use case, like, you know, we can deliver significantly, significantly lower capital and all labor investments, uh, the material costs. Uh, uh, it's extremely safe uh, to work with low voltage operations. It's environmental friendly. It saves energy. And you can have various functions like daylight uh, harvesting, motion detections, and so on and so forth. So I would say TSV040, very powerful plug and play and manage PoE switch and the new one that we have in our portfolio. So uh, that could should be uh, and is it that we wanted to share with the Pranas today. Thank you, Pranas. Um, so basically speaking, maybe some information regarding the ordering. Uh, so, you know, in, in, uh, this information you can get from your account managers. Uh, a few things that I can mention is that uh, for TSF 010, we have uh, two samples per, per client, per order. Uh, with the TSV 030, we have a different story here. So the order can be bigger, uh, you know, I would say unlimited. We have quite quite enough stock uh, already uh, in the warehouse uh, with TSV 040. I would say up to 20, 30 devices. In one shot you can get as a samples, or maybe you can ha you already have a project running which requires such device. So, Pranas, back to you. Thank you, Martinas. And uh, now it's the time to overview the questions from our attendees. And I see. Some of them already. Uh, just a minute. I have to open the window of the Q and A. Uh, the first one of the questions uh, is: Is there a release date for these switches yet, or are they currently available? Yes. Uh, so as I mentioned, they are already in the warehouse. Uh, the quantities are different, but as a samples, you can already get it. And what comes to the mass production, let's say with the bigger batches, we are planned to have them in July. Thank you. Um, oh, I, I saw that one, one more question was exactly the same. Uh, so how is the different with the current TSW series? Is the TSF similar to what TSW series model? So well, maybe could so you comment on, on the names? Yeah, so 
we have TSV0 family. Yeah, now we have TSV010. Most likely the question was about that. So the only difference is that we have better power ranging with TSF0. Yes, with TSF010, we have power range uh, from uh, 7 to 57. We have already uh, a screw box connector on the top, which is actually, you know, I would say this is the first uh of the switches that we have and it has it it has already integrated din rail from the back and the most important thing that it's for a flat form factor we don't have any device in this form factor yet okay uh one more question about the poe functionality uh are these switches out of sense or configured of poe poe plus can we plug a device of 48 volts or 24 volts in the same switch to manage uh, the PoE power? Well, these switches are unmanaged, so you cannot manage the PoE power. This is actually related to the managed switch. So with TSV202, you can do that. But with this, uh, you are, you know, maximum budget, what you can get is 30 watts per port. So with 20, I don't recall, 24 or 28, uh, anything what's in that range, it's okay. What's above, well, the device won't be able to power it. Mm -hmm. And also it's uh, very important to mention that to have uh, this uh, 040 PoE switch working, it, it can be powered from seven to 57 volts. But if you want to have PoE functionality, you have to power this device uh, at least with 44 volts. Yes. Uh, can we use one of these switches in vehicles like buses or subways? Uh, absolutely. Uh, the only pro uh, the only thing that I think, uh, you know, for these kind of projects, there are some certain requirements with uh, certain certifications like EMARC or uh, railway. So you need to check with the requirements. And, you know, if there aren't any requirements, and I don't know for the fact that there is the clients and projects that are using our, our switches without these certifications, like uh, quite, uh, quite, uh, quite good. So, so uh, from the technical side, you can do that. It's just a matter of the requirements, you know, the documentation that is requiring the device. But mm -hmm. uh, other than that, yes, you can do, you can use it. And one more question, uh, why it's different? TSF010 has three pin power connector and rest of the devices has two pin power connectors. Uh, yeah, because uh, two power connector is, you know, uh, just uh, to have this, uh, plus and minus and the uh, the other two devices they have uh grounding screw on the box of the switch in this case uh grounding plus and minus goes to this uh screw terminal so all three wires in one place okay thank you martinas i see some of more questions are coming but we are short on time so all unanswered and also answered questions will be provided uh, together with this webinar recording in our webpage. So I encourage you to go to our webpage and webinar section because there's also our all the previous webinars. You can watch them again. Uh, so basically, for today is everything what we brought, what we wanted to share, and. I would like to invite you to follow us on our social media, on Facebook, LinkedIn, uh, Twitter, and also subscribe our newsletter to be the first ones who get all the news from us. And if you have any questions regarding our devices, ordering, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, please do not hesitate, contact us directly and talk with our sales team. So uh, thank you very much for your attendance. And you, Thank if you, you have much. any questions, reach out to us. Thank you. Once again, have a nice day, everybody. Hope to see you soon.